Hello, it's Christina Torres. How are you? Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. Today is day two of my social selling single mom story uh, for 30 days. So I'm hoping to inspire anyone who follows on these podcast style videos. Um, if you find inspiration, I would love for you to like the video and hit the notification bell and like the channel, all things. Um, yesterday was my first video where I shared why, is, how and why I started in the social selling space. So today I wanted to share with you um, in those moments of making that decision, it's in this decision of hitting that button, hitting that enroll button, right? And you're like, what the heck did I just do right now? I think that one thing that I would say to someone if you are first started in this journey is to really have the confidence and believing of what you're doing and also for you to definitely, definitely every day to work on your mindset. Uh, along this journey, I didn't realize that the social selling space really is a self-development in disguise. So on the beginning of this journey after enrolling, I didn't know what to do. This was back in the day when we had parties. And I will say that maybe from the not much, not much success from the parties I had in person, that I'm not a fan of parties. Now, I'm not saying parties don't work. I think we're in a different age now um, for you to work your business in a lot of different ways than home parties. Um, I'm not bashing them. If they work for you, great, but I feel like they didn't work for me. But in the beginning of that journey, starting house, you know, these parties, sharing your product and you're, you know, you're excited, you know, not everyone sees that for you or feels it with you. Now, I will say the first home party I had sharing my products was a success. I had people there. I had friends, family, coworkers at that time. And, and they bought products. They brought skincare. But as you go through this arrival in your business, you you don't know at a young at a young beginning of this stage that you need to be connecting with people, talking to people, having some kind of funnel, which was a word I didn't know back then, for you to not run out of prospects that may be customers and perhaps business partners with you. So the struggles of that first event I had were successful. But as I continued to have a different days, different weeks of house parties for these events, I call them, I was running out of people to talk to. I was running out of people to invite. And the struggle was frustrating. It was sad. Um, I would literally set up a space for one person to come or no people to come going on live on Facebook, showing like my product area and so excited waiting for people to come. And I do want to give myself grace to say, hey, you tried. Hey, you, you were showing up. Maybe not everyone was showing up. But I remember those feelings of frustration and thinking, What's, what am I doing wrong not to come um, being success in this whole party situation? Um, so I remember really just feeling frustrated. And even when we would have, we had a, what they called them a lot of events. So we would have events at other people's houses, um, venues, and I was always constantly inviting people and maybe one or two people of my party list would come. I think a lot, some of my friends that supported me felt bad for me. So they would go, um, but I, I just remember in my first business that, I continued, I continued, and I didn't give up, and I grew a little team. I, I had a list of customers, and I started um, right away really understanding the expansion of how you can really make money with a team underneath you, um, your percentages and stuff like that, and I remember, I remember even getting little um gifts for certain levels that I had achieved within that time period. So I do want to leave you with when you are working your business, you may feel awkward. You may feel like this may not be working. Look at what's working and look what how you can tweak it. In today's time, there's so many things you can do 
Um, and I'll share those things you can do maybe in the next couple of videos. But I just want to share with you to know the awkwardness, the frustration. It does come on this journey of social selling, but it's really up to you um, to continue to say, is it worth the fight? And at that time in my business, it, it continued and I continued. I continue. Now, take care. God bless the next video. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell so you know when I upload a video for you every week. And it's going to be every day on these 30 days. Take care and God bless.